If you're just starting out in the game, it can be overwhelming to figure out which weapons and attachments to use, and it isn't uncommon for low rank players to make rather questionable loadouts like this. That's why I've put together this guide to help you get started. I have three loadouts for you today, which are all rank 20 or below. One for an aggressive playstyle, one for an all-rounder playstyle, and one for a more passive playstyle. Specific timestamps of this video are on screen right now and in the description. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Starting out with the aggressive playstyle, this loadout is made for players who like to jump right into battle without thinking much. What you're going to use is the G36K and the Desert Eagle L5. For the G36K, you're going to use the Delta Sight, ARS Suppressor, Angled Grip, any laser, and default ammo. This setup can 3 shot kill up to 55 studs and 6 shot kill from 110 studs with really low recoil. For the Desert Eagle L5, you're going to be using the default iron sights, a flash hider, any laser, and default ammo. With this setup, you can 2 shot torso or limb up to 50 studs and 1 shot headshot up to 50 studs. It actually does pretty well at far range too. Next, we have the all rounder playstyle. This loadout is made for players who don't really have a specific playstyle. This is the loadout I recommend if you are just starting out in the game. For this loadout, you would want to use the Co LMG and the MP412 Rex. For the Co LMG, you're gonna have either a Delta Sight or a Reflex Sight, the ARS Suppressor, Stubby Grip, any laser, and default ammo. This gun is able to 3 shot up to 60 studs and 5 shot from 136 studs with incredibly low recoil. For the MP412 Rex, you're going to use the Delta Sight. Flash Hider, Speed Loader, and Default Ammo. With this setup, you can one-shot headshot up to 65 studs, and it's really useful to finish people off at far range. <music> Lastly, we have the passive playstyle. This loadout is for players who don't want to engage in battle too much. For the passive loadout, you would want to use the Intervention and the G18C. The Intervention can be used at long range to snipe people, and if anyone comes up to you at close range, you can spray them with the G18C. For the Intervention, you would want to use the default scope, a suppressor, a skeleton grip, remove stock, and default ammo. The Intervention is well known for its ability to one-shot torso up to 150 studs and one-shot headshot all ranges. For the G18C, you would want to use a Delta Sight, Compensator, G-Stock, either Default Ammo or Extended Mag depending on what you want. This gun is able to 4-shot up to 20 studs, while that doesn't sound really good, this gun has 1100 RPM. Well that's all I have for you today, if you found this video helpful, please drop a like or consider subscribing. If you have any requests, comment them down below or join my discord server, link in description. Peace.